In 1951, gold was discovered in the colony of Victoria. This was six months after gold discovery in New South Wales and about two to three years after gold discovery in California. For the people that came to Victoria, gold represented that pulling migration factor, opening Australia up to the world. People flocked from Scotland, Ireland, Wales, England and China to come and seek the riches in the gold fields. They all shared the dream of finding a gold nugget and making it big. Typically self-finance, free settlers bought their fare, sat on a ship for about three months and then made their way to the gold fields. Between 1851 and 1860, 500,000 people emigrated from the UK to Victoria. The gold that drew the diggers was formed in an ancient riverbed thousands of years ago in the undergrounds of Victoria, where great quartz deposits were laced with nuggets of gold. Some of the gold underground worked its way through the soil, um, surfacing on the top layer of soil or in the modern day riverbeds, and this type of gold is called alluvial. The people that were looking for alluvial gold suits your typical idea of a Australian digger with the pickaxe and panning for gold in creeks. Most of the alluvial deposits were picked up within the first year or so, so people had to think of innovative ways to find that gold that was deep underground. One of these methods included the very important mining business. Gold hunters would find rich leads underground, hoping to extract the golden ore when they brought it back up to the surface. My great 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 grandfather, James Pierce, was one of these individuals who made his way over to Victoria, Australia. He and his wife Jane immigrated from Crowan in Cornwall, England to Ballarat, Victoria, and he sought riches in building companies. He established the Pierce's Public Battery in Ballarat, where miners would pay a fee to get their rock crushed. After the rock was crushed, it would then go through a chemical extraction process. I can't exactly remember the common chemical used, but what would happen, they'd rush the chemical through that rock. It would separate the um, golden flecks away from that rock. In the end, you'd have the gold amalgamated in its pure form. By 1954, Ballarat had three rich gold leads um, called the Golden Trilogy. Sorry. The Golden Trinity, which were called the Eureka, the Gravel Pits and the Canadian. Innovative diggers pioneered their mining techniques till eventually Ballarat became one of the most mechanised mining cities. Places like Bendigo, Ballarat, Clunes, Castlemaine and um, Ararat wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the gold rush. Melbourne would have been remarkably different. All of the expensive old buildings that are there currently would not have been able to be funded. and. Most importantly, I probably wouldn't be here because most of my ancestors are immigrants who came over during the gold rush. What do you think? Think we look alike? This is my first history video, so thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoy, I'm hoping to do some more, so stay tuned.